Get boss everybody. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be working on the 350 again. I'm gonna uh, be putting on new pistons on the rods. Uh, for those of you that have been asking for the Impala videos, uh, sorry, it just been hella busy, and I've been waiting on this part right here, right there, which is a fuel line from the back all the way to the front. And also I got the fuel level sending unit and I also got, uh, what is this, I think this is a heater core for it, I got bushings and more parts, but the main part that I'm excited for is that, oh yeah, but uh, if you're waiting for Impala videos, stay tuned. Uh, this for the July weekend, so hopefully Sunday, which is tomorrow, I'll be able to work on it. So, yeah. But today, we're going to be installing new pistons. Here's a part number for those that want it. These are just standard. What else is on there? All that right there. Alright, so I ordered these off the of summit and they were 179 I believe. Alright. Man, nah, that's nice. Dangerous recording and holding it. Don't want to drop it, but so these are standards and they're flat tops with valve reliefs, valve reliefs, and it also comes with the its own wrist pin. All right, and the ones that came on that 350 are right here. Still haven't thrown them away. <clears throat> oh, and I pressed them out with that little uh, harbor press right there worked great I made a video on that how to do it how quick it was go check it out and these are can you see it domed or what do you call it indented or whatever so hopefully get a little bit better compression and when I pressed these out I made sure to mark uh, which side was facing the front of the motor so you can align it with that dot facing the front of the motor. I also kept my wrist pins and when I took the motor apart I also marked them right there. Can you see it? Maybe. That's yeah, stupid thing. Yeah, so um Let's see, I was going to use these wrist pins right here because I wanted to put everything new, but um, on these, these uh, rods and wrist, wrist pins, you have to heat them up in order to install them. And so these fit. Right. Right. So what I was thinking is, I'm going to just use these because they're longer all right and also it shows you uh, where to put the rod once you heat it up you can align it perfectly all right so and also these pistons that I'm using you could either uh, be a press fit wrist pin or a floating wrist pin it has a little okay. do I have them in here Let me get it. So. Oh, it's hot in there. Alright, 
so these pistons right here you can either use a uh, your wrist pin press fit wrist pin right which these rods are or you can use uh, the wrist pin that it comes with and you could put a lock right there all right on both sides see that and this is the lock that you have to order right here SLP LR63 piston lock ring and when I ordered these pistons I ordered these locks I got what 16 of them thinking I was I was able gonna I was gonna be able to use this wrist pin with that and have a floating uh, rod but um, you can't do that why because these rods don't have a what do you call it a bushing kind of like a brass bushing slash a little bearing in there so yeah <clears throat> I mean you can machine these down and install a little brass bushing but then you have to drill a hole somewhere a hole here so the oil gets in there I don't know it's a hassle you can just buy new rods that already have it in but anyways I'm gonna show you guys how to press them in all right so stay tuned I'm gonna set up show you guys how I'm gonna do it all right so this is what I got going on right here watch and that's a custom rod heater upper press tool type of thingy majigger so I'm gonna turn it on real quick and I'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna go down And that thing is hyphy right there. So, set it right there like so. And all you gotta do is heat it up for about, I don't know, three minutes maybe. All right, so I'm gonna put a timer on and I'll come back with you guys. All right, so it's been about four minutes with this one. I just put this one on about 30 seconds ago. And this, this is hot season, all right, so already starting to get hot right there so before it gets any hotter show you guys how it's done all right so here we go um where should i put you nope i'm gonna block you right there all right looks about right so get you guys in there i don't want to mess up So before you do anything, get your wrist pin, have it ready to go, and make sure this is pointing forward, alright, dot, and also it says forward right there. So the dot is on this side, pointing this way. Alright, here we go. Get it. You don't want to move too much. Alright. There it is. Just like that. See that? Just like that. So we're going to do it again with another one. In a little bit. Alright, so I just got done pressing this one in. Or shoving it in or whatever you want to call it. Alright. So I made sure that the white towards the front of the engine, FF towards the front of the engine, and the dot is towards the front of the engine. That's one of the reasons I'm using the stock wrist pin. Because if you can see right there, it tells you where you have to locate the rod. It's already there pretty much. So that's another reason I'm using the stock wrist pins. Alright, so. Just let this one cool down. Don't want to mess nothing up. Go and put another one on over here. See, I already got one ready to go. 
put the other one on. Alrighty, that looks like it's ready to go too. Set you guys up right here. I want I want to get the good angle for you guys. See if I can see if I mess up. It's kind of hard trying to get that angle. I'm not that good yet. So. And I don't want one of my love handles uh, covering the camera or the view. So. I'll get a different angle for you guys. But uh, let me get the next one. So, dot facing this way. Wrist pin ready to go. Here we go. There it is. Let it cool down before you move it because it, it'll, you got like about seven seconds, it'll still move on you. So you don't want that happening. All right. Ooh, see that smoke sizzling. Hopefully, I got that angle. All right, so we got the next one ready, and it's been four and a half minutes. So make sure dot facing forward right so for me facing this way wrist pin right there facing forward nice and slow shove it in there there it is just like that ah oh, did I get it hopefully but I'll do it again I got one more try for you guys so so, come on, where's that? Damn, come on. It's all right there. See that? Got a little edge. Got that. Edge. So. That's another one. All right, so the other one's ready. So, double check. Front, this way. Put your wrist in a little bit. Get the other one. Slide it in nice and smooth. There you go. Did you guys see that one? Did I get it? Did I get it? Hopefully I got it. Alright, let it sizzle. And it's gonna get hard. Like right there, it's hard. Alright, because obviously it's expanded. But it'll get a little soft right now. See that? Okay, there it is. But you don't want to move it too much because you don't want the rod moving. So, double check front. You guys see? Double check. That's the front. FF. Ah, it's Hatties. I mean, the dot right there. Ah! So, that, my friends, is how you install rods. Or the wrist pins. This one's already a little colder, kind of. Yeah, we're good. So that's how you install these pressed on wrist pins on the pistons. Alright. So if you like to barbecue, whatever at home, here's my ingenuity right here. Custom. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can also use a burner from the barbecue or make a fire pit and just throw them in there but you don't want to put the whole oh shit wrong one turn it off yeah you don't want to put the whole rod in there because you know you got you need something to grab onto so just you just want the tip <laughs> just the tip all right so with that said oh. thanks for watching
come back. I got more videos coming. I gotta work on that thing. Next video is me installing those. But, but see, I need to get the hang of these angles. Installing those. And, and that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. You know, keep up with the videos, bro. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Come back. We got a whole lot of more ingenuities to go.